If you want to copy a grade from one clip to all of the clips in your timeline here in DaVinci Resolve, it's super easy to do. So let me go ahead and grade this clip to something that we can see and apply that grade to all of the clips in our timeline and take a note of the node structure here of our ungraded clips. All we need to do, I'll select my first clip, I'll shift select my last one, I'll hover over our graded clip and I'll press down on the middle mouse button. And that applies that grade to all of our clips. It even added the node there for us. And then we'll do this again, but in a little bit of a different way. Instead of selecting all my clips, I'll just control click, say the ones that I want. And instead of pressing down on my middle mouse button on my graded clip, I'll just right click on it and then come up here and choose apply grade. And that will apply the grade to all of my selected clips. So another option, assuming you haven't changed this in your keyboard customizations, is we can use the equal key to apply the grade from one clip prior or the minus key to apply the grade from two clips prior. So we'll select this clip here. I want the grade from this clip right here. All I need to do is press equal and then we have that grade applied to that clip. Now, if I was on this clip and I pressed equal, nothing's gonna happen because this clip here is not graded. Get rid of that one there. Then we also have the minus. So if I'm on this clip, I want the grade from this clip here. Let me select this one first and we'll just change this to green so we can see that. We'll select this clip here. I'll press minus and that takes the grade from two clips prior. Come back to this clip. We'll just leave it green for now. Pull up this clip. Now I'm going to right click this clip. I'm going to grab a still. Let me go ahead and name this too. I'll right click and say change label. We'll call it uh, pink. Okay. Then we'll select this clip right here. Turn off that wipe right click and we'll grab this still as well and we'll change the label and we'll call this our green look. Okay. So now we'll load up a different clip here in our viewer and I can hover over my stills. And I can see that grade applied to them uh, in real time and see what that looks like. So if I like this look, so the pink look, I can just grab it, throw it right on a node right there or grab my green look, put that on there or I'll do alt S to add another node here. Maybe I have certain adjustments that I've already done uh, to her in here. So then I can grab my green look and put it on a different node there. If I want, I could also select some clips here in my timeline and I could right click and choose apply grade and that will apply that grade to those selected clips. And if I have a grade or a still that I like and I want to reuse it between you know different sessions, I can go ahead and save that in my power grades. So if I spent a lot of time creating a certain look, we'll just say the green look, I can grab it, throw it right in my power grades right there. I can also right click here and add a power grade album, call it green looks or uh, whatever TV show or you know YouTube series that you're working on and throw all of those similar grades into your power grade bin. But now I can come here, let's open up a completely different session here that's on the same database. Come to our color page and we threw that look actually in our power grade bin here, we have those right here now. I didn't put it in my green looks uh, bin. I could do that if I wanted to, but now I have those same exact looks in my power grades and I can apply them to a completely different session. So let's go back to where we were. And that's not all. Up until now, we've been working in our clips nodes here, right? So instead of doing that, if I wanted to grade my entire timeline, I could switch this to timeline, right click, and I can uh, add a node here. I can just press uh, Alt S, give me a node here. Then I can make a change. Let's go to green actually. Make a change here in timeline that will end up affecting all of my clips. As you can see right there, everything is affected by this one timeline color correction.